character. I love your ability to like, admit that you want to do better at times, and then how committed you are to doing that. Circles are a time for the community to come together and develop themselves as individuals, develop their relationships, and really address community work. And we actually believe that by doing that, kids will succeed more academically because they feel safe and they're in trusting relationships. Valor is a middle school based in Nashville, Tennessee. We really value our relationships with each other and we work really hard to create the school community that we want to be a part of. And so Circle is an important part of that work. Our Circle model is something that both our adults and our scholars do every week for an hour. Is there more you need to talk about? Circle happens in single gender groups of about 20 or so students led by their mentor teacher. That's really impressive. Circle is done in a structured manner. It's very different than the classroom experience that they have at other points during the day. It kind of invites them to be exploring and learning in a different way. Every circle will follow the same basic cadence. All right, we're gonna start by doing our True North. It'll always start with what we call True North practice. Start by taking one silent deep breath in and then slowly letting it out. It's a mindfulness-based practice for everybody in the circle to let go of the busy day and really focus their attention on each other. We are going to do a weather check-in. Who would like to start us off? And then it moves into a check-in. Today I'm feeling foggy because I'm, I'm sleepy. Everybody has to check in, even if it's minimal. I feel sunny because it's Friday. Being able to name their emotions, I think it humanizes everybody involved. It really helps us see each other as people who have feelings. And then we move into what we call work. I was a little bit frustrated. So this is the biggest step of the whole relationship work. You need to let Jaren know that you understand why he felt frustrated, okay? Communities need to work together in order to solve problems, and so people have the opportunity to bring work into circle. Examples of work are relationship work with your peers or with your teacher, and we might have people take responsibility for something that had an impact on our community. We also do activities like sharing your life story, reflecting on your values. Sawyer, are you ready to do your presentation? The topic I investigated was religion. Scholars really push themselves and put a lot of effort and thought into the work. You see them starting to become more thoughtful about themselves, more self-aware. This experience helped me learn that I can be kinder to people with different perspectives. And then we always end with appreciations. You always make me laugh. And you always kept trying to get better. It's a way for the community to appreciate the positive impacts we have on each other. I'd like to appreciate you for talking to me over spring break. It's like a mini family. It's a place where you know you're safe. I don't talk about my, um, my feelings much. But in Circo, I can because I know I, I can trust them. I think having the adults do the practice themselves and really know the importance of it is our main strategy. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Allow your breath to anchor you. Adults drive this type of work in the community. Steven, would you mind kicking us off? There are some work that I've done with kids in this past week that I need to bring to Circle. So in Circle today, I did a process called Taking Responsibility, which is used for repairing a relationship with the community as a whole. You step into the circle and you own whatever action you took. Like, I recognize that my mistake put you in a really uncomfortable position. And I have been at schools where if something were done and not talked about, it kind of festered here and you positively work to rebuild the relationship. Moving forward, I commit to like using the systems that are in place and thinking before I act in such a way. I ask kids to do it every day and I think that's why Valor works. It's because like everything the kids are asked to do, the adults are expected to do as well. It helps a lot because they also know what we're going through. Other schools can say, like, you don't understand here, teachers, but, like, we can't say that because they do the same thing as us and they know what we're going through. Circle is a space that's safe enough that we can share and we can be vulnerable. It also builds relationships that help us become better teachers, help them become better learners. 
You guys did a really good job. Appreciate yourselves for that.